Apple Music and Spotify are two of the most popular music streaming services currently available. And with both platforms constantly trying to one-up the other in terms of features, it can be really hard to choose one. I'm Harley Moreno with Sound Guys, and in this video, we are going to be taking a deeper look into both Apple Music and Spotify, breaking down streaming quality, features, and pricing to determine which streaming service you should pick. First off, let's look at streaming quality. Regardless of which platform you pick, the streaming quality from both services is sure to satisfy casual music listeners. Apple Music subscribers can listen to music on the platform using the company's ALAC or lossless codec for a high quality streaming experience. While adding lossless audio to Apple Music sounds like a good idea, there are a couple of things you need to know. For starters, most people aren't gonna hear a difference between Apple standard lossy and lossless codecs. The company even admits this on their website, so don't expect a vastly improved listening experience. Second, Bluetooth connections aren't lossless, at least not yet. In order to actually take advantage of the lossless codec, you will need a wired connection. And if you want to learn more about lossless audio, be sure to check out our article on soundguys.com. On the flip side, Spotify has also announced that they will, one day, be releasing their own lossless streaming tier called Spotify Hi-Fi. However, that announcement was made back in February of 2021. And nearly two years later, we still have no idea when Spotify is gonna release it. Now, one person actually did manage to access the feature on an iOS device due to a program glitch. Although who knows when Spotify is actually gonna launch its hi-fi tier. Currently, the maximum streaming quality you can get on Spotify is 320 kilobits per second with support for the AAC and OGG Vorbis formats. But Spotify's quality cap isn't necessarily a bad thing. After all, compressed files use far less bandwidth, which makes Spotify a great choice if you want to stream or download songs using your cellular data connection. And if you want to save space on your device, Spotify actually allows you to set the quality of your downloads apart from the quality of your streaming. When it comes to which service can provide the highest quality music streams, we have to give this round to Apple Music because of its lossless codec offering. In theory, this could change when Spotify Hi-Fi comes out, but for now, we have to judge the platforms as is. When it comes to content, neither platform is short of songs for you to listen to. As of this video, Apple Music claims to have over 100 million songs in its catalog, in addition to several on-demand radio shows, including Apple Music One. On the other hand, Spotify trails behind with just 80 million songs. However, Spotify offers something Apple Music doesn't have, podcasts, of which there are now over 4 million titles to choose from on Spotify. To be fair, Apple technically does offer podcasts through its dedicated podcasts app. However, some may find it a little annoying to have to jump between the apps. Because we're trying to figure out the best music streaming service, we're gonna have to award this round to Apple Music, thanks to its larger song catalog and on-demand radio shows. Although if you're more into podcasts, then yeah, Spotify takes the round. Both Apple Music and Spotify are designed with clean interfaces that are easy to navigate. They also share common features, including easy access to playback controls, the ability to search for songs via lyrics, and both can even display on-screen lyrics while you listen to music. However, both platforms actually do have their own tricks up their sleeves. First, let's look at Apple Music. For an immersive listening experience, Apple Music lets you listen to tracks in spatial audio with Dolby Atmos. And surprisingly, this works on both iOS and Android. To enable this in iOS, go into your settings, then Music. Then under Audio, tap Dolby Atmos. From there, you can decide whether or not you want the feature to activate automatically, stay always on, or just turn it off. On Android, you can enable Dolby Atmos via the Apple Music app. Tap on the three-dot icon to go into your settings, then just tap Dolby Atmos to turn it on or off. Apple has also recently announced a new feature coming to the platform this December called Apple Music Sing, which as the name suggests, allows you to sing along to your favorite songs. Now you're probably thinking, why would I need that? I can just sing along to the on-screen lyrics. That is true, but Apple is hoping to elevate the karaoke experience through its interface. Real-time lyrics will be available, however, the sing feature also gives you access to Duet View, which displays multiple vocalists on opposite sides of the screen, making it easier to follow along during multi-singer tracks. Apple Music Sing will give you control over a song's vocal levels, meaning that you can turn the vocals down to take the lead, or turn it up if you're feeling a little shy. Jumping over to Spotify, one of its best features has to be its graphic EQ, which really allows you to go in and tailor the listening experience to your preference. It goes without saying, but this implementation is far more customizable than a set of vaguely titled EQ presets, which is what Apple Music users are stuck with. 
On iOS, Spotify actually does come with a list of EQ presets as well, but at least you can see how the presets are actually affecting your tracks. Spotify also allows you to create collaborative playlists, so you, your friends, and your family can create and edit the perfect playlist for a Friday night in or Saturday night out. This is a simple yet very useful tool for sharing music, which is why I'm actually surprised that Apple hasn't implemented this yet. Sure, you can share playlists on Apple Music, but you can't collaborate on them. Apple's extra features tend to focus on creating new and immersive experiences, but Spotify's feature set is aimed more at customization and collaboration. And that's why when it comes to features, we have to give it to Spotify. When it comes to pricing, Apple Music offers a variety of plans to suit different needs. An individual plan currently runs at $10.99 a month and gives you access to its full catalog of songs, ad-free streaming, Dolby Atmos support, lossless audio streaming, and offline listening. There are also student and family plans available, which can help you save some cash. Apple also offers a very unique pricing scheme called Voice. For $4.99 a month, you have access to the entire Apple Music library, but you can only access it via Siri. While the low price may be enticing, you are missing out on some major features, including offline listening, lyrics view, Dolby Atmos, and lossless audio. Apple Music doesn't offer a free streaming plan. However, it does offer a free trial for new subscribers. This usually ranges from the standard one month trial to a generous six month trial period, which you can receive with the purchase of any eligible audio device, such as a pair of AirPods. On the other hand, Spotify offers a free streaming plan, which is fine so long as you're willing to put up with the ads, limited track skipping on mobile, limited audio quality, and no offline listening. If you can't put up with those caveats, then it would be worth investing in Spotify Premium. Individual plans are priced at $9.99 per month, which makes it $1 cheaper than Apple Music. Spotify also offers plans for students, couples, and families, allowing you to save money when you sign up with other people. A free month trial is offered with any new individual subscription or a month free for duo, family, and student subscriptions. So the question stands, should you go with Apple Music or Spotify? Well, for most people, we'd recommend going with Spotify. When it comes to everyday casual listening, Spotify nails the basics. Its max streaming quality isn't lossless, but the lower data rates mean that it's easier to download and stream music over cellular data connections via Spotify. Plus, in most situations, you aren't likely to hear a difference between lossless and good quality lossy audio. Spotify's graphic EQ is extremely useful in customizing your listening experience, and collaborative playlists make music sharing and editing playlists with friends and family a breeze. Also, Spotify costs less than Apple Music, and you can save even more money if you and a friend go in on a Duo subscription. However, if you want the highest quality listening experience possible, and if you're already invested in Apple's ecosystem, then yeah, going with Apple Music is a no-brainer. But I'm curious, what music streaming service are you currently using? Are you happy with it, or are you planning to switch? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and visit us at soundguys.com for the latest and greatest in consumer audio. Until next time, Happy listening.